Why is it that every superhero film these days has glowing eyes in them? It's like you're not a superhero unless you have glowing eyes. Now, I'm not complaining. I actually like this effect, and I use this effect in my most recent short film, Lab Rat. And today, we're going to jump into After Effects and see how it's done. So in After Effects, we have our footage here. We're going to first take the footage layer, and we're going to apply uh, Mocha AE. Select the Mocha logo, and that'll open up the Mocha software. And then in the Mocha software, we are going to track both of our actors' eyes. So I'm going to grab the Ellipse tool right here and just drag and ellipse over his right eye. Um, I keep wanting to say his left eye because, you know, to my perspective, it's his left eye. Anyway, you want to name it properly. Um, so I'm going to do it for the other eye as well and name that properly. Then we're going to click the T down here and we're going to track through. Now, sometimes in Mocha AE, the tracking doesn't work, uh, rarely. But like right here, we can see uh, it's terminated. It stops working. So a way we can fix that is we can just adjust the ellipse that we already made. So I can take the left eye track right here and just make it a little bigger, uh, adjust its position. I can also go down to the motion options and uncheck some of these. I uncheck the shear here. You can uncheck a few of them, but you'll notice that now when we track through, uh, it works just fine. So we can click the grid tool to see how well the track is and it looks great so I can save and exit out of here. Now, before before we continue with this tutorial, I want to let you know about an amazing deal that's happening with an incredible product, AE Juice's I Want It All Lifetime Bundle. You can get this product with my link below for 98% off. And what is this product? We well, see this one bundle comes with over 50 different products. Plus, as a separate bonus, AE Juice is actually partnering up with FilmRide to offer their VFX bundle for 65% off. Again, that link is below as well. Now, I've owned both of these bundles for some time now, and they've become part of my normal workflow, and they've actually helped me land clients with millions and even billion dollar companies. So you wanna be sure to use the link below to get your hands on these amazing products while the deals last. And we can carry on. So for the glowing eye image, I actually used uh, Mid Journey to get this AI generated image. I'm gonna bring that into After Effects and then create a mask around the iris. And then with this uh, image, I'll scale it down and put it over our actor's eye. I will then duplicate it bring it over to the other eye until it's positioned well, and then I'm going to change the blending mode to add. Now we're going to go to effect, stylize, and add a glow effect. On the glow effect, I'm going to bring up the glow radius, and then adjust the glow intensity as well, just a little bit. And when you have something that you like, you can actually duplicate this effect as well. And then again, bring up the glow radius even more and then bring down the glow intensity. You can do this over and over again and it'll just give a better glowing look. Now I have this little halo effect going on on the iris, so I just want to adjust the feather to make that go away. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing that I just did with the other eye. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to effect, color correction, and then lumetry color. We're going to now just color correct the eyes to not have them be so saturated blue and fit a little bit better into our scene. And now I wanna create another mask on our iris and this is going to represent the pupil. I'm gonna set this to subtract, adjust the feather a little bit, and then I can also adjust the mask expansion um, to make the pupil small or big, depending on you know whatever I want. I'll then go ahead and create a mask for the eyelid, uh, both eyelids, the top and the bottom. Um, and then again, I'm gonna set these masks to subtract and uh, adjust the feather. And basically what this will do is cut out the iris where the eyelid is covering it. And we will wanna animate this mask later on, but we're not gonna worry about that until we actually track the images in. And speaking of tracking the images in, uh, that's what we're going to do now. So what I want to do is I want to first create two nulls. I'm going to start by creating one. I'm going to name it properly, which this one right here, I'll name the right eye, and then I'll duplicate that and then name this other one the left eye. Now I'll go over to the Mocha AE effect, click tracking data, and then create track data. I'll select the left eye and then hit OK. And then I'm going to go down to export options, change to transform, that's just my preference. And now I wanna select what null we want to uh, put this information to. So we're going to select the left eye track and then apply export. And again, this is why it's important to name these tracks because it makes this process uh, far simpler. So then I wanna take my uh, both my images and then parent them to the proper nulls. So let me name these so I know what's going on. So this is my right eye image, and this right here is my left eye image. And then I just want to parent them again to the corresponding nulls. So now when we play through, it should be tracked in. You can see here, it's actually not looking so good, right? And what's going on here? Because the Mocha AE track that we did looked 
great, but now this is looking horrible. Well, the mistake that we made, and I used to make constantly when I first used Mocha, is that the aspect ratio of the footage that we tracked is not the same aspect ratio as the composition. So how do we fix that? Well, we first need to pre-compose our main footage and make sure that we move all attributes into the new composition. And now our footage will have the same aspect ratio as our composition. And then we'll just need to go back into Mocha and retrack. So that's the punishment for this mistake. Now you could also just change the composition to the correct aspect ratio as your footage. It really just depends on uh, the project and what really needs to get done. Once we have that properly tracked with the right aspect ratio, we now want to keyframe the mask path for the mask that we made for the eyelids and then go frame by frame and adjust them. Them. or you don't need to go frame by frame, but at least every two frames or three frames. And once we have done that, we now have our completed glowing eye shot. The effect looks great, and I'm happy that you stuck around. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Now, if you want to learn how to teleport yourself, make sure that you check out this video on the screen now. My name is Austin Smith. This is D-Man Films, and God bless.